welcome to Simply Cooking. I'm your host, Stacey Simpukwe. Today is a wonderful day. Every day is a wonderful day. But today we are going to be making some crepes. I already got started on some things. We're going to be making sweet and savory crepes. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and prep our spinach for our crepes. So we're doing a steak and mozzarella and spinach crepe. That's gonna be our savory. Here's our steak right here. I already got started a little bit on our steaks, but I'm gonna continue. Um, so we're gonna do sweet and savory crepes. Our savory is gonna be berries and banana. I love berries for the antioxidants, and then the banana has the potassium. So I'm, sh I'm shredding down this spinach, getting it all cut down. This is just full leaf um, spinach. So we can get that done. Now, you know what? I don't like getting the bagged spinach because it tends to be like really slimy. Have y'all noticed that? Sometimes you get it and it's like slimy in the bag. It's better to get the fresh um, leaves of spinach. It's a lot easier to manage. So let me go ahead and turn on my pan, heat it up. This is a gas stove, so it heats up relatively quick. And I'm gonna use some of my vegetable oil. As y'all, I said before, we did make a little bit of steak earlier and I'm gonna be making some more. Use the rest of it. Now I season this with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. If you have a good piece of meat, the best part about the good, a good piece of meat is that um, you don't have to do much as far as seasoning. It should be well flavored um, and marbled and all gorgeous. So what we're gonna do now is my pan is good and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my steak in there. You hear that sizzle? It's a little bit of a sizzle. Put that here. Now this is the stir fry cut steak, which is perfect for this. Instead of me doing a full steak, I want it like little bites. I shred it, I buy it shredded from the store. If you can't, get a really sharp knife and get a piece of sirloin steak and you can slice it yourself. Yeah, awesome. Now, if you don't like steak, you could sub this out for chicken, um, or you could sub it out for spinach, I mean, uh, for, or shrimp. And because this is like really small, let me turn this down, um, it cooks really, really fast. So keep everything moving. is good a little pink okay so now we're gonna add our spinach and I'm cooking the spinach in the like in the fat and the oil of the steak because it'll pick up all the flavors of the steak which I think is delicious look at that gorgeous now, I already have the cheese in here. I'm just gonna dump everything right on top of the steak we have here. So it's all ready for me for when I put together our delicious crepes. And spinach does not take long to cook at all. What I find ridiculous about spinach is that it has a very long shelf life um, out of the greens, but when it cooks in the pan, it wilts very quickly. So it's kind of like you get the best of both worlds. Okay. So that is done. We got this ready for our savory crepes. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up my fruit for my, um, slice up my fruit for my sweet uh, crepes. So I'm just gonna slice up my um, strawberries. We have strawberries, blackberries, and bananas. Strawberries is really high in vitamin C. I don't know if y'all knew that. It's actually higher in vitamin C than an orange. But, you know, it's strawberry, so they're small, so you have to eat a lot of them. So we're going to slice up our strawberries. Um, it, and it's so important. I know some people get a little scared of having a sharp knife. Have Make sure you sharpen your knives because a sharp knife is a lot safer than a not sharp knife. 
Oh, great. Awesome. I'm glad you like the smell. Wish y'all were here in the studio with us. <laughs> smells good in here. That's what good food smells like. So I'm peeling the banana. I put the peel over here. Now, most of y'all think, okay, we're going to throw this out. You can actually eat this. Um, if you, so if you go ahead, inside here is like the pith. If you peel out the pith and then slice up the peel, you can actually saute it, and it makes the best vegan tacos. Yes. And we actually did that on the show a while ago. Maybe we'll revisit and do it again. Um, we did a faux pulled pork taco with uh, banana peels, and it did not taste like banana peels at all. It tasted like delicious uh, pork. So, slicing up my bananas, and we're gonna have this nice and prepped and ready to go for when we work on our crepes. Now you guys don't go anywhere, we'll be right back to work on our crepe recipe. I'll see y'all. All right, hi, welcome back to Simply Cooking. Today we are working on uh, crepes. Earlier we made our filling for our savory crepe, which is our steak, spinach, and we have some mozzarella cheese. And then we're gonna have a strawberry, um, banana and blackberry crepe as our sweet. So now we have to make the actual crepe. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our wet ingredients. So we need two eggs, we're gonna do that first. Look at that beautiful egg, nice and golden. And I like to make sure my eggs are about room temp because it's just warmer, so it'll just be a little bit more creamier. So now I'm gonna add my milk. And this is about three quarters of a cup of milk. Now crepes usually is really wet. So if you're making it and you're like, wow, this is, this is a little runny, it's not pancake batter, it is crepe batter. And crepes tend to be a little runny. Okay, so we got this nice and mixed. So the next part, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our oil in. This is three tablespoons of oil. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put our flour. Now this has been pre-sifted. What you don't want is lumps and bumps. So don't add everything all at once. Take your time, whisk it in. You can use a blender. I've seen people use blenders because they think it works the best. You can hand mix it like what I'm doing with the whisk. I don't recommend a hand mixer. Um, you can try it. Let me know how it works. It does not work for me. So we're gonna add the rest of this flour. This is about a cup of flour. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt in here just for flavor. We don't want things bland. Now, if I was gonna make a super sweet crepe, then I probably would add some vanilla extract and probably like two or three tablespoons of sugar. All right. So we're gonna make this nice and smooth. Look at that, beautiful. No lumps. I did good, y'all. So, and it's nice and creamy. Let's heat up our pan. Now we're gonna put this on medium high. We don't want it too hot, but we do want a nice hot pan, okay? And the thing you have to remember about making crepes, um, <clears throat> the thing that have, you have to remember about ma making crepes is it's very thin, so it cooks very fast. So this is not one of these set it and forget it. You have to be attentive over your pan, okay? Now I have my spray. You can use melted butter. Melted butter has fat, so it burns really fast. So it's great for making crepes because you do have to be attentive. But we're gonna use butter spray because we're on the show and I wanna make this nice and clean and pretty. I'm also using a fish spatula. Um, the fish spatula is longer and therefore, and it's kind of slim, so it'll be easy to scoop under the crepe instead of a traditional spatula. And y'all know how I feel about 
um, rubber spatulas, not in my kitchen, okay? Yes, I'm one of those people. Okay, so here we go. Use this butter spray. I'm being very generous with it. So here we go. We're gonna put this in the middle of the pan. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Usually you can do like one scoop, but I'm gonna add a little more. And we're gonna oop, move this around. Uh oh. Actually, let me use this spatula. Now y'all know this is like when you make pancakes and the first one doesn't come out the way you want it to. That's what's happening here. This is on a struggle bus. But we're gonna try to make this work, okay? This is already ready to flip, y'all. Okay, let's flip this. And the great thing about simply cooking is that we keep it real. So we're gonna flip this. And we're gonna try this again. Crepes is one of those things. You know, this reminds me of that um, that cartoon where the animal, I can't mention who the animal is, but the animal, um, he says, here's my old foe and it stares. I feel like this is crepes for me. Okay. So that crepe didn't make it. We're going to try it again. <laughs> the first one is always a challenge, right? So a little bit of butter spray. Now, let me turn this heat down a little bit. Like I said, super attentive over our pan. Let's see if I can cool it a little bit. There we go. Let's try it again. All righty. I'm gonna spread this out. All right, this is a little better. So we're gonna move this around. Okay. So, like I said, very attentive. It's already slipping and sliding. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. And turn this heat down. Okay. What we're looking for is nice little bubbles over the top. Yay, it made it. Okay. See the little air pockets all on the back of it? I love that. So we're going to cook this through. And everything is already pretty much ready to go for our to, for us to make our, our crepes, like our filling and everything. So there we go. That's one crepe. Let's do another one. I actually saw this crepe pan that um, you can, it, it's like you can press it like a beach ball into the batter and then you put it in the pan and it like cooks it. I thought that was very interesting. Oh yeah. Um, and I mean, that's for like super thin lace level of uh, crepes. So I'm actually doing like one of the, how they do it in France, where they have like the wooden dowel that they spread the batter in the pan, kind of doing it that style with the, uh, with my scraper. So we're gonna try something new, why not? Okay. There we go, that's beautiful. Okay, like I said, very attentive because crates cook very fast. There we go. That's even better. See, we get better and better with practice, right? You know, 
it's not practice makes perfect. Practice makes, practice makes improvement. So we're always improving, right? All right, so this is a whole lot better. Beautiful. All right, I think we got enough batter to make one more crate. Look at that. Beautiful. So let's do one more. Curse these small hands. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get in here and hold this bowl. Okay. This is going to be our final crate. All right. Take this batter. We're just going to go around and spread it around. Just being very gentle. I think that that last crepe was probably my best one. I'll take it. All right. And I know everybody in the studio is so excited about getting to try the crepes. Right, y'all? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure if everybody has had lunch yet here at the studio, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to be grubbing on this. Make sure you guys try this at home, and then I would love to hear from you guys. So visit the Facebook page or the Instagram page. What's the Instagram page for Simply Cooking or for the Fayetteville, for the on the TV production? What, where should people go? On the Instagram page? I think it's Faith State Bronco on TV. All right, so we're done here. Now we're going to go ahead and put the crates together. So this is going to be real fun. Here we go. I'm just going to take it. It's, it's still very hot, but it'll be fine. I'm going to do the sweet one first. So let's go ahead and lay in our strawberries now. There are many ways you can do it. You can fold it into quarters, or you can do like a little roll like a burrito. I think what we're going to do is we are going to roll it like a little burrito, because I think that'll be pretty. So you want to get it to one side is kind of like heavy with fruit. OK, we're going to do the filling like this. And we're just going to wrap it. I'm going to twirl it around. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty, y'all? So that's one. I'm going to bring this over here. Move this out of the way. Here we go. I'm going to do a savory one here. Let me get a towel. Okay. Let's do a savory one. Hope y'all don't mind. I'm just going to pick up the steak and the spinach and just put it right in there. Look at that. I don't think we're going to be shy with the steak. And then we're going to put this cheese right on in there. Oh, I hope it tastes amazing. No, let me just quit playing. I know it's going to taste amazing. Here we go. We're going to wrap that up. You know, you don't have to make it fancy schmancy, just delicious enough to eat. And we have these oopsies. I'm going to put these oopsies to the side, y'all. And my final crepe, what are we going to do? Sweet or savory? Savory. savory. OK. You know what? Let me split it, and we'll do one half of it sweet and the other half savory. So we're going to do it like this. And I think this one, we're going to quarter it just to kind of show diversity. Do it like halfway. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super magnificent. It just has to show effort. So now we're going to do the steak with the cheese. Y'all got it? Here we go. 
sweet and savory crepes. Delicious. Now, guys, I want y'all to follow us on the Facebook page, Simply Cooking FSU, and remember to simply cook. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.